Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is May 19th, and it's so good to be here. Um, how are you doing? This portion today, hello, Catherine. I am so excited so excited because i just finished an incredible networking and this morning i had a zoom call with a client it was one of the best because it was an incredible transformation and it happened like a blink of an eye and you know what because everything that we do it starts with a thought process so Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday, where transformation may happen within a blink of an eye. This is Lisa, your favorite clinical hypnotherapist, and I am so happy to be present where I can help you debunk your uh, self-doubts and help you heal your past traumas so that you can transform to the best version of you. Hello, Rose John, how are you? Hello, Mark, so good to be here. Hey, have you realized one thing? That no matter where we are, either in person or Zoom, either COVID or not, there is one thing that it's so similar to all of us. We all have something that we want in life. And it can be something that you have not realized, but we move forward in life because of the things that we want, not the things we do not want. So if I were to ask you, what is it that you want right now? Because no matter what happens, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. Things do not happen by accident. It's, it's some wishes that also become reality, right? Uh, hello, love. Yes, thank you. Amen. So if I were to think, uh, uh, not only think, but ask you, if you were to go back to a time and a place, now, just be open to this. If you were to go back to a time and a place that you were very young and think maybe you were five years old, six years old, one of the biggest things that comes uh, to mind, something that it's very clear, something that it's yelling at you, something that it's so clear. What is the first image that you have being a little child? And it could be just about anything. Just go ahead and share what is the first image that comes into your mind being a child. And I want you to write this right here. Share it so that it's like, just go ahead and type it. Share the first thing that comes into your mind. And you know why? Because whatever it is that comes into your mind, being a little boy or a little girl, and if that thing was so clear, you made a wish. There was a thought process then that probably has helped a um, clear path that puts you on a path to where you are today. And it could be something that you have avoided all your life or it's something that you have been wanting and been drawn to to where you are today. Birthday parties when I was a little boy. Okay, so birthday parties. Thank you, Mark. So birthday parties as a little boy. And the birthday parties, it was either fun or it was something that you had a great time. And birthday parties creates what? A lot of sound, birthday cakes, uh, happy times, right? And is that where you are in life today? Because again, we move towards our most dominant thought pattern. Where we are today as an adult stems from a decision that we made long time ago. 
and the one that is the loudest and the clearest in our mind. Hello, Bridget. Hi, Sarah John. How are you? Everything that you are doing today, if you think about it, there was a thought process. And because of that pro thought process, it sh shifted a behavior. It shifted a thought process to where you are right now. And because of who we are, how we change habits, because everything that you do over and over, over and over, either a thought or a behavior is because you did something, thought something over and over that became an automatic part of you. And it could be it if you were moving away from a pain or you were being drawn to something. Again, I'm saying the same thing over so you have a clear picture. By doing that, it became a part of your behavior. And that's how a habit turns into a behavior. And once you have a behavior and you keep doing the same thing, just like when I asked a client of mine, how long has this been going on? Some say always, but we were not born with that same behavior, but it was a habit turned into a behavior that we sometimes do things subconsciously without realizing. And then once that behavior no longer works for you or it's not benefiting you is when we become conscious of it and we say, I want a change in my life. And that's when the work that I do is to um, shift it, is to disrupt that thought pattern and then find a clear path to what it is that we want. As you know, uh, being a part of Seroptimist organization, which is one of the biggest nonprofits helping women, and it's women helping women, is a beautiful bracelet that I wore it for the longest time. It says, dream it, be it. So if we have a dream to create something in our life, to be something, to do something, it starts with a thought. And that thought, if I were to take it all the way back and say, where did that thought come from? You might realize, I've always dreamt being a singer. I've always dreamt being someone that helps people. I've always dreamt that this is what I want. This was my dream as a child. Check out going live during many events. Check you out going live. Oh, thank you. It was fun and awesome time. Exactly. Hi, Rosanne. How are you? Thanks for being here. So what I help you is to realize where you are on your path. What is it, a behavior or a habit that you have right now that you no longer want or you want something better for yourself? So the fun times that you had, Mark, it's creating that beautiful time. And how often do you want to capture? How often do you want to capture those times? Having a party, having a good time, uh, parties about cakes and celebration. How often do you celebrate your life? How often do you have a cake and eat it? You see? And are you repeating that same thing? Do you repeat some behaviors in order for you to capture those moments? And I'll tell you something, because when I think about my childhood, and I'll say this, because one of the loudest things in my life as a childhood is, if I were to think about it, it's something very funny, but it was not funny. It's... I was probably about four or five years old and I am here staying home with my grandmother and it's very late at night and I remember she was watching TV and in our TV room there was this uh, couch and it was like a triangle couch leaned against the corner in our uh, living room or TV room. 
and grandma was sitting on it with her gown nightgown and everything watching tv and i come running into the room and i said something and she came to scold me and as she did she started laughing because i started whatever it was i can't remember and she started laughing or scolding me and as she did the chair was far away from that corner so as she did this entire chair flipped over can you imagine this flipping over and her legs go up her head hits the corner of the wall in the corner and her I see her legs going like this and that laughing part turned into like yelping because she was in pain and I could not help but laugh. I was laughing so hard because all I could see was hear her yelp and her legs going like this and she's laughing and yelping and this little kid, which is me, while I'm laughing, I'm not, I'm not laughing at her, but at the situation. And it was, I was scared. I was scared what she's going to do. I was scared what she's going to say. I was scared. And at that very moment, I froze while I was laughing. And all I could remember was, help me up. And as I reached, because she was so heavy, I could not lift her up. So all I did was sit next to her while her legs are going like this and laugh with her. And that laughter was the first time I remember that grandma was in a situation that she could not hurt me, scold me, because she felt helpless. At that very moment, this little child made a decision. I can help others when they feel down and they feel helpless. Do you understand the impact of that little kid? That instead of feeling that she is powerless, by sitting next to her grandmother, realized this is the time that she needs me and she's not going to hurt me. And I can love her and laugh with her and be with her on the floor. Because at that very moment, we became one. And she was not the grandmother she was just another human being that she was yelping and laughing with me, if that makes sense. So I want you to think back and in your heart, in your mind, be so connected to that little boy, that younger version of you, to recognize the best part of you that has helped you, molded you to where you are today. And if you could find within yourself to stand next to that younger version, because if that younger version is scared, if that younger version is in need of you, Here's one thing I have to say. We all have a little boy and a girl within us. We also have the adult within us. And we have the parent within us. So there is three strong characters within you right here, right now. Maybe the one that is afraid and withdrawn and is afraid to do things. And there is the one that is so gregarious and wants to do things, wants to show up in the world and do. 
And maybe there is that sound part of you that always wants to safeguard you and protect you, and even scold you, and that's the parent within us. And sometimes the little one, the younger version, goes into tantrum. And the adult is the wise within you. By recognizing your dreams, the wants is to recognize who is it that needs more attention today? Who within you? Do you need more love? Do you need support? Do you need loving care as an adult that you miss that part of you? There is a part of us that is always the one who needs. And there is a part of us that wants to dream and is the dreamer. So what we need is the parent to strengthen the parent the subconscious part of you, that is the parent, the logical part, the realistic part, and says, you know what? I can help you have a strategy, have a plan to put this together. And the child within you, that is the dreamer that wants to do things and party and go and become. And the parent that watches over you. We need to consciously and subconsciously have all three be present and recognize that we are not here to stomp one's ability and strength, but to enhance it. And if there is a part of you that has been withdrawn and doubting, in fear, I can help you tap within that part to recognize the best gifts of you and to know that what we do is evoke what was, recognizing that your history is the best part of you. Every essence of your history but it doesn't make you who you are right now because today, this very day, which is May 19th, today you can make a decision and say, I am ready to stand up and show up for myself and change my story to where I want to be. Today, you can change a habit. If you have a habit that no longer serves you, today you can say yes, yes to you and just show of hands and say, yes, I am ready to stand up and make a difference for myself because there is a part of me who has been afraid. There is a part of me that has suppressed a lot of things. There is a part of me that I feel I am addicted to something that I no longer want to feel addicted to. Because that part of me that feels addicted to is overpowering this part of me and I don't know how to help myself, to stand up for myself. There is a part of me that feels I cannot be the success that I want to be and I want help. And it doesn't matter because all parts of us, we all want something. I have a coach. I know my coach has a coach. Uh, my other coach goes to a therapist and it doesn't mean that we are bad. It just needs we are all seeking for something that we're asking for help. Hi, Liz. Thank you for being here. Hello, Harry. I am so happy that all of you are here. Hi, Jasmine. I love you, girl. Uh, Renee. My God, Renee. Love you, man. It's about time we do that fire pit and get together. 
you know, this is what we are here for. I come live every week and I just surpassed three years of doing this. Come next month in June, I have been doing the work that I do, evoking what was, embracing what is, and helping people evolve to what it is that they dream. Every single day, in every way, we become better and better because we show up and say, I am now ready to make that. How can I? And that is the best question to do is, who do I go to? How can I do this? So, I'm here to say that little boy, that little green girl who had a dream. Can you believe this? My girl and dream got together and became grim. I'm even becoming so excited because I'm creating my dreams every single day. I'm writing, writing, writing. Because I want you to explore possibilities. It starts with one step at a time. There is no way I can become a ballroom dancer when I haven't even been on a ballroom floor or decided that this is the kind of a dance I want. If I am doing tap dancing, if I am doing ballet, I have to also recognize that ballroom is a whole different muscle work than doing ballet or hip hop. It's all dance, it's all movement, but the categories, the way the muscle stretches, is completely different. And we're not even talking about the counts that are different, the music that it's different. And yet any dancer can modify and get into dancing much faster than the ones who've never danced or have two left feet. But it, even the person who has two left feet turns around and says, I want to start dancing, believe it or not. They can. The same way as if we decide to learn a new language, we can. If you want to learn a new language, turn that channel on, watch a channel in a different language. If it is Spanish you want to learn, watch Spanish all day long. Even if you don't understand it, eventually within six months, if you are immersed in that language and no other language, you will be immersed into it to understand so much and you won't believe it. Go to another country that they speak nothing but that language. Six months being in there, you will learn that language. Why? Because our mindset will reset in order for it to adapt. Last week, someone said, I cannot wake up unless there is an alarm system. You know what? Five minutes of self-hypnosis, guiding that person deep within their internal time clock. The next day, they woke up at 7.30 with absolutely no time clock. Why? Because all we do is open our mind to tap into our subconscious mind which is the platform it is the foundation it is your blueprint and as you do that shift that blueprint modify that blueprint and say every single morning by 7 30 i will awaken fully aware fully conscious happy to start my day that positive synergy, that positive thought, that positive affirmation of who and what I want to become and do is the biggest and the simplest modification. We don't have to have something grandiose. It starts with a step. I awaken fully aware and feeling peace. So many are seeking peace and tranquility. 
being here today is to take a nice deep breath and say, I am present. I am aware. I am exactly where I am supposed to be. Recognizing that your abilities and your gifts lay right here. Now, what is it that you want to do from this day forward? Why don't you write it down? What is it that you want it to be and do? And what is the voice that says no? Is it the parent? Is that the parent voice of yours? Can you parent yourself and say, it's okay, I can hold your hand and we can do this. Let's find a way. Because remember that parent part of you is not always the scolder, but also the one that holds your hand and says, let's find a way. And I can do that and show you how to do it, that you are safe and we can do this together. We have the most amazing mentors, coaches, and teachers within us. Every thought process, every image. Did you know that Disney had three personalities and characters? And he would, when he wanted to create something, he would put three chairs. He would sit in one chair and dream as big as he could. That was his dreamer chair. The one he would sit and imagine for hours and hours and hours. And then when it was time, he would get up and go sit at another chair, perhaps the logical chair, the adult chair. And that chair was his financial wisdom chair, that businessman chair. And he would plan everything, put everything into perspective, put things in order, create his to-do list, and put everything in place, categorize it, organize it to see how that plan can be. Maybe he even put his financial plan together. And then when that, once that was done, he had the third chair, the parent chair, which is the logical part. And the one that was the critical who would turn around and say, if you were to do this, that will not work. If you were to do that, that will work. And let's create something bigger and monetize that. Recognizing that what he was doing exactly is what's within us, what's within you. Now, sometimes you may need help to tap into it so that you can evoke it, so that you can embrace all of it and transform to the best version of you. You know why? Because you matter. And we no longer need to stand by in the sidelines and see, ah, they are doing it. Why not me? If they have a better body, why not me? Why can't I have it? I can. I can be it today by saying yes to me. And that's all it takes. It starts with a decision. And that decision is to say yes to you. And that's all I'm asking is for you to stand up and say yes to yourself. Yes to the little boy and little girl. So if it is weight, 
I have this incredible nine week course that I help everyone. If it is something that you want to do a mindset reset to boost your confidence, realizing that we are here to debunk self doubt, right? And that means to raise awareness and appreciate and accept yourself far more deeply. Because if your self-esteem is high, your confidence is higher, and then you believe in yourself. What is it that we say? Trust in the abilities of the one who's helping you and believe in the gifts that you have. So, it's time to put the trauma in the past, heal it, let it go, and transform to the best version of you. So is there any questions? Oh my God, I wish I could break some of you on camera. Love you more. Hey, hi Nella John, how are you? Hello, Michelle. Oh my God, Michelle, haven't seen you in a long time. You, we, we must meet back at the park again. Hi, Ruzan John. Uh, are you cooking? Are you baking lately? I haven't seen anything that you are doing lately. Maybe I should just go and visit your site more. I want to say I am blessed by having you all here. If you are watching this, by all means, say something. Show me an emoji. Mark, I love you more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are watching this on a replay, I want you to take this moment and put hashtag replay. And for those of you who are here, I want you to share something that you got out of today's message. I want you to know one thing. You have three parts within you. Today's message is you are gifted by being a child within, which is the playful, happy soul and it is time for you to tap into that you have the best adult side within you that is living it being it and the parent within you that is always watching over you and safeguarding you if the best thing you can do today is find the means to dream bigger to the things that you want to create and be. Manifestation starts by saying, I am ready. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist that helps you with your mindset reset to evoke, embrace, and evolve because you matter as much as anyone else. God bless you and thank you for being here and until next week. Next week, I am having an incredible speaker. I want you all to tune in because he is a gem of a gem and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Hi, Natalie John. Thank you for taking care of me, for being the sound board for my business. I love it. You see, everyone, I network and I have the best of the best as part of the people that I can also bring that help you be better. When the mind is ready, we can do anything. Exactly, Jasmine John. When the mind, let's reset your mindset. Hi, Edith John. How are you? Hello, Crystal. Thank you for being here. Um, we had a great session today. My session is coming to an end. But you know what? Today's message was mindset reset to everything that is in subject to think about awesome love you lisa glad i can be part of this team and vision yes yes it is a team i like to call it we are all here as one what is it that they say no matter where we go we are surrounded with light and when we feel that we are in a funk and there is darkness all we have to do is remember. 
even at night time, even at our darkest time, the stars are still up into the sky, except we cannot see it because sometimes it is not dark enough for you to see the stars. The stars do not move. The stars, the North Star does not change. Sometimes we can't see it. And because we are so engulfed in looking down into our shadow, into our darkest moments, in, instead of looking up and realizing that it's just the clouds that are blocking it. You know, because we know that the sun comes up and as the sun sets, the moon is coming up from the other side. There is no part of this world, even on the equator that you go, that it's dark six months of the year. It's just that because the earth is moving that way, it's not that the moon is not there or the sun is not there. It's just how the earth is rotating. And sometimes we are in a funk, and I've been in a funk, believe me. I've been in a funk with finances. I've been in a funk with my marriage. I've been in a funk uh, with my body. I've been in funks so many times. But you know what helps me elevate? Is that little girl that when she was five years old and sat next to her grandmother, and we laughed. The grandmother who used to scold me and hit me and be the grandmother, even though she loved me the most, just like the parent within us, we laughed. And at that very moment, all I can remember is the laughter. Because love and laughter surpasses everything and no matter what negativity in your life you have subcom hardship you have gone through there is a part of you that still has hope and a dream and there is no one on this earth that has the power or will you and I'm saying, please do not give anyone the opportunity to put a lid on that. It's time for us to stand up together and show up for one another. This is Lisa. I will stand by you and guide you so that we can evoke and embrace the best of you and help you evolve to the best version of what you dream. And with that, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye.